a plant wall that resists even the strongest pressure from water. A green community between the sea and the shore. Small heaps of green, standing firm on the wetland with hundreds of roots. Mangrove forests, gods of the coastline. Mangroves are the most beautiful and productive plant community among the ecosystems of this planet. It acts as a total biofortification between water and land. Mangrove forest system is the habitat of numerous life forms from microorganisms that live in between pure water and salt water to tigers. It is often regarded as the lungs of the earth. Mangroves seen in estuaries and backwaters where the water is very salty have been noted for their capacity to release more oxygen into the atmosphere and to assimilate carbon at the rate of 50 times more than that of tropical forests. There are 18 varieties of mangrove species in our state. The unique mangrove ecosystem comparable to any other forest ecosystem with crabs, prawns, fishes, butterflies, birds, reptiles, mammals, etc. is also regarded as kidneys of the earth. Thousands of people directly or indirectly depend on the mangrove ecosystem for their livelihood. Between land and water, between ebb and flow tides, this is a biosanctuary with great diversity in a rare environment where fertile soil and minerals are deposited by flowing water. Support roots that go into the depths of the wetland and breathing roots, Numa metaphors that stand high on the surface of the water are their features. Mangroves which remain evergreen without shedding leaves can grow even in the driest summer if traces of salt are readily available. It is estimated that there are mangroves growing in an area of 140,000 square kilometers in the world and in 6,740 kilometers square in India. The Sundarbans in West Bengal, the largest area of mangroves in India and Bangladesh, extends to 1,330 km square. In Kerala, which had an extent of mangroves in 700 km square of area, has now been confined to a pitiable extent of just 21 km square. It is in Kannur district that 75% of these mangrove forests in the state exist today. We've lost 35% of the area of world's mangrove forests in the last three decades. Now it is being lost continually at the rate of 1% each year, and the area would be reduced precariously in the near future. Kerala loses vast areas of mangrove forests every day in the name of development. When mangroves are destroyed for prawn farming, and unauthorized tourism, etc. What is lost is not simply a few plants, but a large and unique ecosystem. The natural environment has been contaminated by the dumping of plastic and other pollutants. Destruction is currently ongoing all over the state by way of felling and landfilling. Mangrove forests have natural resilience to survive any threat other than the ones posed by humans. They are considered to be the only alternative left to protect the human race which faces the crisis of soil erosion and sea intrusion. Therefore, we are bound to protect the remaining patches of mangroves at any cost. As part of activities for conservation, the government of Kerala has declared 237 hectares of mangrove forests 
out of a total of 757 hectares as mangrove reserve forests. Moreover, as part of the project Rebuild Kerala Initiative, a beginning has been made to take over private mangrove forests by giving owners adequate compensation. The general public should also participate sincerely with the State Department of Forests in the effort to conserve our mangrove forests.